Pakistan, a country most people are fearful of visiting, but also a country with one of the most diverse landscapes in the world. So come along with me as I visit Sawat Valley, a beautiful mountain region located in North Pakistan. Guys, I look like a news reporter, but we just stopped for some petrol and toilet break and stuff like that. But it's so cold and I'm thinking, if it's so cold here, how cold is it going to be over there? At around 1.30 a.m. our bus left Islamabad. It was going to be a long road trip so almost everyone fell asleep. Everyone but me as I was admiring the night and eventually the early morning views. We had breakfast at this local restaurant and oh my god I could feel the cold in my bones. Ushu Forest, our first stop. It's the largest Yoda forest in Pakistan and it's truly beautiful to see. It was also sunny so the cold had lessened massively. Hey guys, so we reached Ushu Forest. I think that's what it's called and we thought it was gonna snow here but it didn't so yeah, and I really want to use the toilet and there's none. After a couple of hours we reach the hotel. My advice is to bring as many layers as you possibly can because it was super cold here and you would definitely need them. Like extremely bone chilling cold. We just checked in the hotel and I changed and I'm gonna tell you what happened on the way but this is TMI so proceed at your own risk. But because I was traveling for like the past 10 hours I had to like stop and poop. I'm so sorry, I just had to say that out loud. Anyway, so I went looking for a toilet. It wasn't even that I had to poop. It was just like, because you know when you sit down a lot, you just stop bloating. That was the case. I thought I had to poop. But anyways, I was like, you know what? Let me go to the toilet. And I went to the toilet. And I just I was like, you know what? Let me take my pad off because... I haven't had my period yet my app's telling me it's tomorrow like what's another two hours right like what's the worst thing that's gonna happen for another two hours guess what i got my period right after i took my pad off and started like chilling with my friends i was like what is that sensation because i didn't i there's no way that i just peed myself and then i was like you know what let me just go check i think i could have gotten my period and i was just delaying it because the toilet was in a, i'll show you what the toilet was like like it was a squatting seat but it was just like in a random place it just had tin around it you could even see inside like there were big flipping gaps and i had to like put my scarf there in the gaps it was just a mess um and then i got my period i chilled in my room for a bit and when i came out i was afraid that everyone had left me and went to the bazaar but it turned out that they were just taking naps night we visited the bazaar and listened to local artists sing as we sat around a bonfire hey guys so i'm gonna go sleep now i literally we sat till like 3-ish, 3-10-ish and we had like truth and dare and it was so fun and now I'm gonna go sleep and 
it's so cold like my feet are blistered because i only had my leather shoes and even like when i was wearing slides i had four layers of socks and they would still like hurt so i had to layer them with my leather shoes which i didn't break into before so yeah i'm gonna go sleep now and i'll see you guys tomorrow ready and i'm gonna go have breakfast and then we're gonna go it's not as cold anymore so i love that for me after breakfast we took some pictures and left for malam jabba which is a sight to see during snowfall but unfortunately it wasn't written my fate to witness it Our plan for the day was to chill and do some activities like going on a chairlift, zipline or a high swing. Me personally, I'm too scared to do any of those so I chose the easiest option. just reached the hotel and i think you might have seen my little getting married video it was fun it was so fun um the chair lifts were fun <laughs> i did enjoy them i screamed a lot because going up was scary i am a bit sad that it didn't snow stupid climate change um but yeah so we're gonna have dinner and probably chill and like do something for, for new year's but i think they usually do fireworks which we're not gonna do today it was New Year's Eve, so after dinner, we just sat around the bonfire waiting for the clock to hit 12. Eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The 
group was so cute they celebrated my birthday which was in six days due to no grocery stores being around or any bakeries being around they put matchsticks on desserts they'd bought earlier which literally made me almost burst into tears hey guys so not only does the there's no is there no heating here there's also no warm water which is really sad because upstairs everyone has it i don't think anyone would be up right now or if anyone can fix it right now and all the adapters are different um as to what i have available um so that's gonna be a problem and i'm gonna give you my review soon so tomorrow we're gonna go back i'm gonna stay at my friend's house and then i'm gonna go to lahore good morning guys i literally just woke up and there's no warm water so i went down and asked them and they were like you know what your geyser is off so they turn my geyser on but there's no electricity so it's gonna take a long time for it to come and i need to i need to use the toilet i need to use the apps, like and I can't clean myself with the cold water, it's too cold. And nothing was charging last night. So like this phone has, yeah, it's, it has very little battery. And so do my camera batteries, which is what I'm worried about more for some reason. And so I asked them and gave me a Samsung charger for my power bank. So hopefully that works. <music> leaving day although i was glad to be out of the cold i was also very upset to leave everyone in just three days we had all become so close it was unreal We stopped for some food on the way and bought some oranges that we all shared. I might have snatched the best one out of the bag. <laughs> my savoir trip it was literally all over the place and i just hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm still not sure how to film in public with so many people around me and when i'm moving constantly so that is definitely a problem but if i get some new gear then inshallah that won't be a problem anymore in the future but until then it would really help me if you guys like and subscribe and comment or share or whatever you can do but i'm not gonna pressure you guys so if you don't want to do it don't do it <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Sound me alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming.